Once you have your Adobe DNG program downloaded, this is how you'll actually use it. Uh, depending on how you chose to save that file, if you put it on your desktop or your start menu of your computer, you'll need to make sure that you find it and open it the same that you would uh, Photoshop or a word processing program or anything else. Just go to where you saved it and open the program from there. For the sake of explanation um, and showing you an example, what I've got here is a folder open with my most recent images. I went ahead and saved the RAW and JPEG of each individual photo. So you can see that I have my CR2 files and I also have my JPEG of each one of those RAW files. So in your cameras, uh, that would be the setting if you had RAW plus JPEG fine um, would be where the setting on the camera enabled it to do that and save both file formats. Once you have your DNG converter or your digital negative converter um, open on your desktop or open on your computer, what you'll do is you'll select your images to convert. When I select my folder, I'm going to select this folder that I have open that I'm showing you right now. So it's 716 of 2015. I'll go to my pictures. I'll find that specific folder so that it matches and I will select. After this, I don't touch anything else. All right. You can make sure that your settings are mimic mine, rather. Um, you're not going to include images contained within subfolders. You're going to skip the source image if the destination image already exists. You are basically going to add one extra file to this entire folder. If you leave it on here to save it in the same location, it's not going to replace anything that you already have. It's just going to add to it. Okay. So make sure your default says to save in the same location. Make sure that this target area, this folder, matches the description of the folder that you're pulling your pictures from. Um, from there on out, it'll begin numbering all on its own. You may have a different number here. Probably start with number one, and it will renumber everything that you do. But as long as you've selected your folder, you won't change any of the other settings and then you'll hit Convert. When it brings up this window, it'll show you the process. The process is it'll show the finished files, and you don't want to close this window or do anything else as long as it's running. And just wait until they're all done. And as you can see over on this folder that I have open, it's adding a DNG folder as it's converting it will add what's called DNG to this folder. This process can take quite some time, depending on how many pictures you've taken. And it's finished. So if you have another folder that you'd like to convert, you could push OK, and it'll bring up your main screen again. When you're done, go ahead and hit Exit, and it'll close out that entire program. Now in order to find these files, you open your Photoshop. Mine's bogged down, so it will take just a minute. Everyone will find their own workflow and their own way of organizing their photos. This is just one simple, simple way to convert those files in order to make them usable. However you'd like to sort them after that, where you'd like to save them, is completely up to you. But I will go back through and delete every one of my CR2 files because I don't need them. The DNG file has simply replaced the CR2 file. So just like in class, once Photoshop's open, I go to my bridge,
And again, it will take just a moment to open. I'm going to choose the same folder that I was just in, 2015, 7-16 photography class. We had discussed filters while we're in Adobe Bridge. You'll notice on the left-hand side, camera raw image, DNG image, and JPEG file. I do not use JPEG files. It was an accident that my camera was set on that setting. But what we've done is taken your camera raw, your CR2, and we've replaced it with a DNG that Adobe Photoshop recognizes. From this point, I will select camera raw image. So I know that the only thing that this is showing, the only thing it's selected is my CR2 files. If I control A, That will select everything that I have. So I have 14 items selected. I have 14 camera raw images. And I will right click and delete every one of those files. All it is is an unusable file that Adobe will not open in Photoshop. I still have my DNG files. As you can see down here, your DNG files should show up as thumbnail previews of your photos. So from there, as you double click on each one of these, Photoshop will pull these files up in Camera Raw. 